Hey gang, welcome back. Effie Review Problems, Mechanics of Materials. We've got a rectangular plate, okay? We're given the modulus elasticity and Poisson's ratio. A 25 millimeter thick plate is subjected to a load of 5,000 kilonewtons. What is the new height of the plate? Started out at 500, what's the new height? Okay, while under load, assume number one, the loading is uniform. It's not just point load, it's uniform distributed across that whole face. And number two, the face is not, the load is not to exceed yield, which means that we're operating uh, in the elastic region, okay? All right, there's your possible answers. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right, did you get an answer? Was it there? Now, number one, I know that if I pull on that thing, that the cross section is going to get smaller. So I know my answer is smaller than 500. So that one's already out in my mind. I'm down to three answers, right? It's one of those three. So let's see if we can do it. Now, what are we given here? I'm given the load and I'm given some information about the plate. So I think I'll calculate sigma, which is going to be P over A, which is going to be 5,000. That's kilonewtons, so I'm going to go one, two, three more and make it newtons, divided by the area, which is 500 by 25. Okay, so how much is that? Because that's going to give me newtons over millimeter squared. That's megapascals. Okay, so that's uh, 400 megapascals. All right, so what do I do with that? Well, I am given E, so I can do this, right? E equals rise over run. Strain would be nice to calculate. So let's see, E is 200 gigapascals, so that's 200 thousand equals 400 over here divided by strain. Move that over there, divide that over there, and I get 400 divided by 200,000 equals, woo, strain equals 0.123, like 0, 0002. And then what? Well, that and that strain there is longitudinal. Okay, that's strain in this direction. Okay, now I need strain in that direction. Yeah, so let's try this. Poisson's ratio is equal to negative strain lat divided by strain long. I need strain lat. Well, guess what? I got strain long and I know what Poisson's ratio is. So move that over there. So negative 0 0.002 times 0 0.3, that's Poisson's ratio right there, right? Is equal to strain lat. And so that's gonna be times 0.3 equals 0 0.0006, okay? Millimeters per millimeter, negative, okay? Well, if it's that many millimeters per millimeter, how many millimeters of it do I have? Well, I got 500, that's how many I got. So times 500, times 500. How do you make 500? There you go, boom. Equals 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Well, it started at 0.3. Negative 0.3. That makes, I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Because it started off at 500 and then it had a delta, right, of negative 0.3. So that's going to minus 0.3 puts us at 499.7. That's the new length. Wow. I almost talked myself out of the answer there. 499.7. Is that an answer choice? Yep, there he is right there. Answer C. All right, did you get it? Pretty tricky. Not too bad though, right? All right, let's do another one.